Biodiversity is the variety of life on Earth. It's about the variety of species in an area, the genetic diversity within species, and the distinct features of entire ecosystems. Just like we now know that diversity in the workplace makes a stronger organisation, the same is true in nature. The more diverse, the more robust. We're talking about biodiversity because we're losing it. Since I was born, wildlife populations have dropped by more than two thirds. This includes the insect pollinators like bees that we rely on for three quarters of our food crops. And it's not just abundance that has dropped. 33 animal species have no wild population remaining. What this means is that the natural world isn't as resilient to shocks, which is not a great place to be in when we know that climate change will bring some pretty big shocks. Global demands and pressures on nature and biodiversity have dramatically increased, posing significant economic risks as companies rely directly and indirectly on nature's resources and ecosystem services. By 2030, just by the end of this decade, nature loss could cause global GDP reductions of £2.1 trillion each year. The City of London Corporation's report, a global centre for nature finance, sets out a vision for innovative and world-leading centre for nature finance that supports the ambition of the global biodiversity framework. And it unpacks the role of financial institutions in tackling nature and biodiversity concerns. It also makes some really important recommendations on next steps for the public and the private sector working together as we all look to understand the risks and opportunities presented by nature and biodiversity. Biodiversity is often used where someone actually means the wider concept of nature. They're similar, but not the same. Nature is the term for all the systems, features, forces and processes. It's things such as the weather, water or carbon cycles, the decomposition processes and more. Biodiversity is just one part of nature. I highlight the differences as it's important to understand from a financial perspective whether the loss of biodiversity is the risk for you or whether it's really the breakdown of nature that's more pertinent. For nature, it helps to know one of the key concepts, which is called ecosystem services. It's a term that captures everything that our natural ecosystems do for us, which we don't pay for with money. We don't pay for flood protection or for the air to be filtered. We don't pay the soil to remediate the toxins we dribble into it. But the worms do their stuff and the microbes break them down. And this is where it becomes interesting to finance. Our economy has been built without paying for the cost of these services. This might be okay up to a point because it's not like planet Earth has a bank account, but when those services can't be delivered any longer, humans become a bit like interested shareholders. It's in our interest for ecosystem services to work. For finance specifically, it matters because 55% of global GDP is reliant on these services.